Yo, what's up guys? It's Surge Commando here. And we are back for one of the last episodes of our CHP series here in LSPDFR. So today, we are going to be running, again, another Vic. The Polar Bear Slick Top Crime Victoria 2011. Going to be going on as a supervisor. And EUP is going to be a bit different, so this is a different belt. I had to, basically all my outfits are got, thing got wiped because I had to reinstall EUP because I was trying to do a few things uniforms and I screwed a few things up. Me being uh, stupid like I was, so. But, um, I think I know what we're going to do. I don't think we're going to continue to do a state-specific series here in LSPDFR. I have a few things I'm going to do and I'm going to be hinting to it on Instagram here very shortly. So, if you haven't already, the link will be in the description. Go follow me on Instagram at Insurgent Commando. But yeah, without further ado, let's get out on patrol. An ambulance requested in, uh, Alright. We got a motor vehicle accident. Out this way. And I don't know what's lagging late now. Well, actually, I do. So, I figured out the lag problem. And I don't know why I closed LSPFR and then reopened it when, before I did this video but what happens when I first load up because it's still loading stuff as I drive around it lags really bad so I uh, I need to be playing for a bit so further later on in the episode we're not gonna be getting lag like this but it's not as bad because I took out the main culprit that was causing lag which was the computer system that I had in it was just fucking up the game and killing it. It was lagging everything, so I took it out and now we're doing a lot better as far as making sure we do not lag. Yeah. It's out this way. Actually, where's it at? Oh, it's right up here. And that's the main reason why we don't like the lag. <laughs> and why you don't check your map while you're driving. That too. We're just 22, even though it's LSPDFR, we'll still say 22, and let's keep going. It's going to be up this way. Get going. And as soon as we get there, we're going to call fire and EMS and lock down the road. So with this call, you want the road locked down, you want to get fire and EMS in, because if you don't lock down the road and then call them, then cars are going to stack up, and it's going to be a shit show, because everybody's going to crash into everyone, and eventually it's going to cause a big chain reaction explosion. Which is not what you want when you're trying to deal with a tipped over vehicle. So we're just going to get out there and make sure everybody's okay. Make sure whoever needs medical attention gets medical attention. Make sure we can clear up the road and get traffic flowing. Going to ride the shoulder here though. Emergency lane. And uh, try to get down there as fast as possible. This little Vic, despite it being a 2011, being a bit of a dinosaur as it's referred to by a lot of departments. It still runs and it runs well. So, again, I really like the interior models of these Vicks. I never really show them off, but the models of these are insanely well. Um, I'm, I'm gonna find the guy who did all the models for the CHP series, and I'm going to leave a link in the description, most likely. If I can't, then expect in a further video or, or on my Instagram. But yeah, these are really good models. In case you guys ever want to get these for yourself for LSPDFR. They're really nice, so I'll be getting that very soon. Hopefully, I'll have it in this one. If not, then just be looking out it out for it in future videos or on Instagram, one or the other. Yeah, gotta go this way now. Where is this? Oh, it's over there. Okay. So this is the same place. I, I wonder if it spawns the same place every time then. I'm trying to avoid the city because I know another big culprit of lag is when I go fast through the city. The notice right now is not bad, but in the city it definitely gets worse. Now, the times I tested I also teleported there and it's usually pretty laggy when I first get somewhere and first load in, so that might be another culprit. So, but we'll see. I know basically where there's a lot of stuff it gets pretty bad with the lag, so let's hope that doesn't happen. So, we should be coming up on it here. Should be just out here before this bridge. Yep, I see it. 
Looks like it's going to be in northbound lanes. So we're going to have to cut. It'll just cut right here. Okay, let's go all the way across. Yeah. But this is why we got to shut down traffic. Because if you don't shut down traffic, it's about to get a whole lot worse. So I'd rather build up the traffic down there and let whatever happened happen than anything else. So let's go ahead and get an EMS and fire responder called out. They're going to take Medical a few minutes. In, uh, and I'm going to tend to him and try to help him out. See what we can do here. Alright, well we weren't able to help him, but hopefully when the ambulance gets here they can. Stay there! Stay there! Let's go ahead and get these guys moved out of the way so when medical gets here they can do what they gotta do without having to worry about anybody. We'll get him back here and we'll go get the other guy as well. I think I can hear them, actually. And then I'm gonna try and get a tow truck down here extremely fast as well. So I can try to get the truck out of the road and we can clear up traffic so it would also be easier for them to get in. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. I had gotten a phone call. Let me real fast though, let me get, get a tow truck called for this and then hopefully the tow truck can grab it. Oh, what did I just do? And I just clicked into this. That's not what I meant to click. I meant to. There we go. I'm just going to call a flatbed. Now, technically, we'd actually get a wrecker, but whenever I call the large tow truck, which isn't a wrecker, but it's the closest thing I can get, it just. It, it doesn't want to move with that truck attached to it, so. Let's see if the flatbed doesn't even matter. Okay. Just use the shoulder. I'm going to try this. Let's clear traffic. See if we can get it flowing. And have the tow truck take it, and then hopefully they should just go. Alright. Doesn't look the most legit, because it's not how you actually get one of those out of there, but it's the best we can do. Alrighty. So that way we can get fire and EMS in here quicker, hopefully. Let's try tending to them again. It's just until medical gets here. Hopefully we're fast with it so medical doesn't come over and glitch us out, but we'll see. I have no idea what they did what just happened with them there, but okay. Here in the new fire responder added in. So, we're waiting help him. All right, so they're gonna tend to him, and we're gonna all talk right, to these guys, something. make sure they're all good. Well, technically, I can't actually talk to them, but basically, we'd be making sure they have no injuries, asking them what happened, why it would have flipped, it, who was the driver, things of that nature. And we probably wouldn't have moved the truck out of there so fast, but I did it mainly because we wanted to clear up traffic. If this was an actual situation, we'd probably move no, it off to the side, fine. but we can't do that. Because we have PFR. So because he is going to be dead at this time, we don't want traffic, so we're going to have respect for him. We're going to move a vehicle, just sort of try and block the view a bit. And we're going to call a coroner. Get a coroner out here. And we're going to get these guys. Well, actually, they probably need an ambulance. Well, we'll say they weren't injured. Maybe they were bystanders or something like that nature. We'll just get them taxis. Right. The only reason I'm just getting them taxis is because I don't want to send more stuff of that in there. And corners parked right there, and they don't know how to go around. Okay. Yeah, they'll run over there and do that. So as soon as this is cleared up, though, we'll be good to go. Fire truck's going to take off now. Corner's going to do their job, and that's going to be the end of it. 
So this is probably best I could get the call to go. Which is good now that they've cleared that up. Uh, okay. Well, I can't go back. I was going to back up and try to block a bit of traffic for him, but uh, I can tell that's not happening. They're trying to figure out a way around, and they don't seem to... I don't know what they're doing. Alrighty, well, they've pretty much got it under control, so let's go ahead and take off here. I don't know what... Okay. <laughs> uh, classic California drivers, am I right? All right, we'll just fix up, and yeah. Abby 9 calls him to be code 4, and we are going to be back 10-8. All right, so we got a guy right here in the pickup, or a box truck. His truck is smoking now. This other polar bear unit's right behind him, but I know he ain't going to stop him, so let me see if I can squeeze right in here. Okay, yeah, that was pretty bad, but... It's whatever. Alright, yeah, he's smoking bad though, so let's. Yeah, I think he's even got a pop tire, so let's get him off the side of the road. It's definitely not gonna be a road worthy vehicle. I mean, I'd show me on the 1011. Gonna be North US Route 13, Grand Sonora Desert, Blaine County. Uh, no additional 32s, unknown occupancy on the vehicle. It's gonna be a white in color box truck no additionals alrighty let's go see what's going on walk around the other side since we're on a highway I don't want to get hit by a car today see what's going on here just about to go get set up in a radar spot and I noticed this guy so uh, his tires been in and everything it's just one guy hey doing day sir I'm going to be Trooper Teeter of California Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is your uh, truck's not very roadworthy. You're smoking pretty bad. You got a pop tire. So can I please get your license, registration, and proof of insurance? You okay. Thank you. All right, so just wait right here. I'll be right back with you. We're going to get an additional down here just to get them out and everything. We have to get the vehicle towed and all that. I don't know well, shit I'll look up from there I'm not, I don't have the computer system anymore let's run the plate I mean I'm gonna get 1028 on the 24 Sonora Andrew Target Nora 574 24 Sam Adam Nora 574 no 1099 so his name still doesn't show up you know he gave it to me let me go here hopefully it's not too complicated it is Mark Holmes, M R M A R C and Holmes. Okay, pretty easy. It should be doable. Valid, not wanted. Okay. Um, traffic's looking pretty clear. I'm gonna pull my car out just a little bit more, so. Hopefully that should help me. And I'm going to go up here and get him out of the vehicle because this isn't roadworthy at all. Alright, sir. Can you go ahead and hop out for me? Whatever, dude. Stay there. Stay there. Alright. Just go ahead and follow me back here to my cruiser. Yeah, they're go they'll go around. I like just having it angled out a bit more. I don't think there's anybody else in the car or anything. Alrighty. Alrighty, sir. So, with what's going on today, I can't let you drive this vehicle out here because you have a pop tire on it. I don't want you to spare it, and then it's smoking very bad. But what I'm going to do for you is you're not going to get any kind of trouble. I'm not going to give you... People are dilated. I don't care about that. I'm not going to give you any sort of tickets or anything like that right now just real fast I don't think his, was his, his stuff wasn't expired right I should check this already I know whatever but I just want to make sure um, no flag so 
Yeah, it's not expired. It doesn't expire till near the end of the year. So, I mean, you don't got anything on you. I'm not going to start taking the record. So I'm going to give you a verbal warning not to drive vehicles like this again. And I'm going to go ahead and call you a taxi. Is there an address I can have this vehicle towed to? I'm going to call a record. Come pick it up. Is there an address it could be towed to? And yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me the address and whatever. So I'll go ahead and call him a taxi. And I'm just going to... a large tow truck I'll let it move it because I'm not gonna be here very long about to take off so we'll do that legitly but the only reason I did the other ones because I actually needed that moves without shit hitting the fan so yep see but that's what I'm talking about see he just hooks to it and then he can barely move it I mean he's can sort of yeah, if we actually had to tow this, it would be picked away. The front would be picked up off the ground and it'd be on a stabilizer and all that. Alrighty. Let's just go up to here. Alrighty. I mean, uh, should be code for the truck stops can be code for. Should be back 10 8. Yep, that's gonna be it. Alright, this box truck up here. I just, as it's going past, I picked up on this plate. And the plate is bullowed for the registered owner being wanted. So we're gonna we'll see if we can get them stopped and we'll get a felony stop on them. Get this guy out of the way. These cars need to stop getting over in front of me. Fucking Christ. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit further down the road. And then we'll stop them. I don't want to do this in the middle of the highway because that's going to be a shit show and a half of traffic. And for some reason, I have that tow truck marked, so I'm going to act like I'm stopping them. Hopefully, is he going to be following me? Still? No? Okay, cool. I don't know why it marked the tow truck when I was directly behind him. That was weird, but yeah. And I'll confirm again. This is the wanted guy. Yes. Just double checking to make sure we are indeed good. Literally just set out. First guy that went over it. See if he stops or takes off. I mean, I'm going to be on a 1011 performing a code 5 for a wanted registered owner of a vehicle. If you could roll me additionals for a felony stop. Backup required on a Sonora freeway. Oh, wow, I'm scraped up right there. Mm, here comes one of the new sheriff units I added. That's going to be coming in soon. Not right now, though. Out of the car, put your hands up, and get on your knees. Come back towards me. Stop. Get on your knees. Do not move. Hold up. No, arrest him. Okay. Turn around. Alright. I'm going to search him, get him in a car. I'm also just going to do this because I don't want traffic to kill us. And I need to clear that truck. I'm going to come up here. Release. Anything that's going to poke me, stick me, or stab me. Anything I should know about. Clear liquid, probably hand sanitizer if the stuff's going on right now. Alright, let's get him in a car. Move. 
All right, let's go up and search Stop! this. Stop! Police! Hold on. All right, sorry about that. Got another call. All right, looks like we're gonna be clear there. So let's go ahead and search the truck, and then we'll get it moved out of here after we confirm everything. And confirm that is our suspect. I have to run his name here in a second. And confirm that is our guy. Oh, I can't run his name through that, so I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Oh god. I'm gonna butcher that. You know what? I'm just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna take a picture of it with my phone because there's no way I'm remembering that last name. And then I'm just going to run it like that. Cause there's no way I'm remembering that last name. Zero. I mean, I'd give me a 1027 on a Luca, gonna be Louise Union Charlie Alpha. And then it's going, set last name's going to be Buscariella. And his spelling is going to be Bravo Oscar Sonora Charlie Edward Rick. Edward, Louisiana, Louisiana, Ida. Suspect is wanted by police, so this vehicle is going to be impounded. So that is him. We are good to go. Let me know. Go ahead and route me a 1051 wrecker for a box truck. Damn, we might as well be doing commercial vehicle enforcement, which I couldn't get the truck in, sadly. All right, come on, just go around. Don't smash into him. <sighs> All right, well, I'm gonna get these. All right, he's got that, so let's. Before I clear traffic control. Thank you. I'm gonna get these guys out of here. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm gonna hop in my truck, or my, yeah, my truck. This is a truck now. <laughs> this little sedan's now a truck. Um, get over here, and let's clear traffic control, let traffic flow on past, and I'll just turn on my traffic advisory, and you know what, I'll let GTA do GTA things on that one, I have no idea, he just says screw it, I'm going this way. Yeah, you see, that's why we usually put them on flatbeds. That, or that's why in LSP, a far you put it on a flatbed. But that's why. Now we got money truck. Okay. We're going to go after some of that stuff here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and get him a prisoner transport. And then you know what? If this transport gets here fast enough, I think that's a bowler of money truck. So we'll go get it. If this transport is smart. Okay. Grab him. Grab him. You got him? Good. Take him. Closed door. My door won't close. There we go. That's closed. I mean, nine. I've got, a, I've got him running. He's trying to... Oh, he was going to stay I got a foot bail. Or I thought I had a foot bail. Never mind, I got an abandoned money truck that was boloed though. I mean, I, I got that boloed groupie sec money truck that was boloed. I'm going to 10 6 with it right now. Southbound Interstate 1 at the exit to US Route 15. I don't know who that car is, but it's telling me to chase it. Let's chase it. I mean, I, I might have. The person who's driving it right now fleeing a stolen vehicle going south to US Route 15. I need some damn backup, Go ahead and wrap me an additional. It was a black four door SUV. Wait for further description. 
black four door. ACB, I'm directly behind it right now. South US route. 15. It's going to be failure to you to obtain any of progress. Sorry about that. I had someone scream my name. Alright. He's going to be continuing US Route 15 southbound lanes. Oh, no, I just rear -ended him. I'm not going to be able to pit him, though. I'm not. I don't have a ram bar on this. I'm not pitting him with it. We'll chase him, though. We might get. We might use the tire. We have spike strips, so this might be a time to use spike strips. Passing up the exits, continuing south through Route 15. Speeds of about 50 mile an hour. So I'm not going to be pitting him, but I have an idea. I want to spike him. So we're going to use stop sticks here. Well, the spike strips in game, they refer to them as spike strips, but I'm going to call them stop sticks because it's actually what we, that, I believe that's what they use, don't quote me on it. We'll stop here now. Got him. That was a late crappy deployment, but we got him. They were effective. That's all that matters. <laughs> that was a really bad deployment. <laughs> oh, pitted him. The Tahoe got the pit for the win. He's going to be continuing. He's getting stopped. He's not. Yeah, he's stopping. They're giving up. Final stop, West US Route 15. They're going to be footbell. Right now, continuing on the exit. That goes first exit in the city. Stop or you're going to get tased. Stop or you're going to get tased. Taser deployed. Do not move. Stop. Put your hands up and get on your knees. Get on your knees. Do not move. You move and you're going to get tased again. Yeah. It, it, it's giving us wildlife rangers. Oh well. <laughs> Don't you know it's the new wildlife division for the California Highway Patrol? What do you know? <laughs> Alright, let's grab him. We'll grab her, I should say. And we're just gonna stop traffic. Even though it's gonna stop everybody and create a pile up, it's gonna stop this exit as well. So, I don't know why it's gonna make that. Let's go ahead, release him. And since I have the body cam, I'll record her being. Had it down for her because dash cam's taking up right now. Damn, scratched our car the fuck up. A grenade. Oh I'm stop. I'm not gonna I caught it. Test. All right. Let me run her name. Give me a second. Oh yeah, I can actually run it this time. And I'm gonna confirm my suspicions about this being a stolen vehicle. Even this, she isn't the one from the money truck. All right, that should be good enough. That should be good enough. Can I get 1028 on an 83 King Victor Robert 256? 83 King Victor Robert 256, no 1099. So it's not registered to her, but doesn't mean it's stolen. Uh, even if it isn't though, she is failure to yield, fleet, resisting arrest, felony eluding. So, whether or not she was the one who stole the money truck will be determined at a later date. For now, she's going in on those charges, and then whether or not she stole the vehicle will also be determined. And later on, when it's looked further into, we'll contact the owner and all that. But for now, do one of you fine gentlemen want to go ahead and take her in to custody? How's it going? You disgust me. I think he fell off his bike.
Alright. Let's clear traffic control. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. And, uh... Oh, I forgot I still had my lights on. I'm not pulling her over. I was, uh, trying to fix my vehicle. Let them do their thing. We'll go ahead and clear off. Yeah, that's it. Now we'll be going back. 10 8. I mean, 9. Calls are going to be code 4. Show us back 10 8. Lincoln 18. We have a person right. carrying a knife in La Mesa. I don't want this upgrade to a stabbing, so. I'm going to try and turn around here and go on that exit. People, stop getting in the way. There we go. Alright, let's go see what's up. I mean, show me 1097 in route code 3 to that call. I forgot to call that. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a person brandishing a knife over here. Ended up, I don't know why I took this way oh my gosh yeah this is what i'm talking about we need to get out of the city after this call <laughs> we need to get straight out of the city because it is 10 times laggier yeah still don't know why i took this way i could have easily got there a lot faster and avoided a lot of that lag probably if i went the other way i don't know i just like to make the job harder on myself right So, okay. We got a mail. No description on the mail. They need, the guy who made that needs to like make an update where they actually give you a description of what they're wearing. So that way we're not just going, oh, is that a guy? Does he have a knife? No. Because no. a lot of times they'll put them away. Maybe that guy right there walking across the crosswalk? No, it's not him. Um, we might have to get out and go on foot here. Alright, here we'll turn, leave our lights on. And we'll grab our keys, take them with us, secure our vehicle. Make sure it's locked. And we're gonna just sort of walk. So they're moving. Are they up there? They're on the interstate. My job is yeah. They could be down. I think they're down there, actually, down here by the LS Customs. Which means they could have been setting up for a mugging. They could also. Oh no, they're on the bridge. They're walking along the bridge. I don't think it's that guy to the left. Unless they're under the bridge. Is it him? I don't, well, I don't see a knife, so I don't think it is. They might be under the bridge. Did he just go into the LSR? Looks like I see if there's a person down there. We would see them if they were down there. They have, they're on the other side of the bridge now. Watch them be like on a plane flying over the city. All right, we'll go check that. I mean, if I don't see them, then I'll just call it off. I mean, it's updating, so it's somebody. But 
I mean, they're not under the bridge. Unless it was that guy that I originally pointed on the left side. But he didn't have a knife, so I mean... This is why they need to give descriptions. Because they can put the knife away very fast. I mean, there's this guy. He's still in a circle. Does he have a knife? He doesn't. I mean, he could put it away, but... and Because it doesn't give me a description. Well, now it says they're over here. Or they might be over here. It's probably talking about him. I mean, I can go stop him and talk to him if he takes off and... You know, proving himself guilty. Let's go. Well, he's probably gonna go across the street, and if he doesn't, we'll pull up behind this parked car like we're gonna do something to the parked car. Yep, he's taking off. He knows what's up. It's him. I mean, I'm going over the bridge right now. Get me spike strips. No, I need Give me one additional. Assistance needed in mission row. Dude, stop. Get tased. I mean, I taser deployed. Stop. He's complying. Taser deployed. I'm gonna wait for my unit. Get on the ground. He's still possibly has me. I'm gonna keep my gun up now. Get on the ground, dude. Get my gun up and wait for my unit to come in and cover me. You got my back? Alright, I'm gonna cuff him. Showing up in the LSPD charger. You're good to go, you can take off. I'm gonna dismiss him so that way. I need to get Alright, hold on. I need to get this guy. There we go. Maybe he's right there. I'm trying to dismiss him. Oh, because he's watching him? No. Prisoner escaped transport. We'll get on the city All right. Um, nope. Lucia Fields. Should be pretty simple. He's good. All right. Well, I'm going to go put him. And my cruiser down here. That guy's probably gonna follow me, yeah. Well, he's digging his own grave because he's gonna have to run all the way back up here to get to his cruiser. Damn, PD unit. Alright, we'll pat him down. Or no, he just patted him down, didn't he? Yeah. So we'll just put him in the rear seat of my vehicle. Hey! Oh, damn it! No! Actually, you know what? I'll let him transport him. Look now I think about it. Hey! Sir, get out of the car real fast. No? Somebody gets me. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> I think it was about the end of it anyways. I mean, we had a good few calls. It's been 40 minutes, so I don't want to keep you guys here forever. Um... <laughs> So we'll end it on this glitchy note of LSPDFR. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this guy is about to go get arrested.
um, for running from police officers. And I'm guessing he's the guy who's called in. We'll just say he, that they gave a description that was him. And yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of LSPDFR. And we have one more after this. And it's going to, I think it's going to be the most classic of them all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all later.